New at 6, Project Homeless Connect held its biannual event today in Columbia to help people going through homelessness. ABC 17's Ethan Hines went to the event today to find out about resources available to those going through homelessness. Held at the Missouri United Methodist Church, Project Homeless Connect is meant to offer those experiencing homelessness an outlet to get help. Uh, they have haircuts, we've got medical um, medical checkups, dental, uh, vision um, checkups, and they get also some basic needs assistance with backpacks and, and also a meal. Mark Kirchhoff at the Flourish Initiative says the event helps the city with its point in time count, an annual national survey meant to see how many people are living without shelter. We now do it twice a year because we found it so successful and in, in really outreaching to, to some of our most vulnerable population. According to data provided by the Columbia Boone County Health Department, there were 49 unsheltered and 189 sheltered homeless people living in Boone County in 2020. A conditional use permit brought to City Council by Voluntary Action Center on January 17th proposes the idea of a 365-day 24-7 temporary shelter on the corner of Bowling Street and Business Loop 70. It could hold a maximum of 120 people with sleeping areas catering to single men and women experiencing homelessness. Kirchhoff says people could step up in a few different ways to help folks out. It could be as big as volunteering at room at the end, volunteering at your local, um, you know, at, at loaves and fishes and, and getting hands on. It can be as simple as just acknowledging somebody as you pass them on the street if you notice they are unsheltered and just saying hi and just acknowledging them as a person. Reporting from Columbia, Ethan Hines, ABC 17 News. There are seven warming areas in Columbia open during regular business hours and seven emergency shelters that are open overnight and meant to provide a place to stay for a meal and warmth in the event of extreme cold.